This tutorial will provide information and examples for the MLA referencing style based on the 8th edition of the MLA Handbook. MLA uses an author page system. The in-text citations include the author's surname and the page numbers from the source material. MLA is mostly used in the humanities, including literature students at ACU. For in-text citations, you need to include the author's surname and the page numbers from the source you used. The author page system within parentheses demonstrates that the information preceding the parentheses can be found on the page cited and was written by the author listed. If the author's name is used in a sentence, only the page number is provided in parentheses. For quotes of four lines or less, put the copied text within double quotation marks. The citation appears after the closing quotation mark, but before the final punctuation mark. For a direct quote, the author's surname and page number need to be included in parentheses. If quotations are more than four lines long, they are indented five to seven spaces from the left margin. No quotation marks should be used and the quotation is double spaced. The citation in parentheses comes after the closing quotation mark and the punctuation mark. When referring to someone else's work, you must credit the original source, whether you use a direct quotation or a paraphrase. When you paraphrase someone's ideas, include the author's surname and page numbers in parentheses, the same as for a direct quotation. Here are examples incorporating a quotation or paraphrase into your writing. In the first direct quote, the author's name Winston is included in the sentence. Therefore, just cite the page numbers from which the quotation is taken at the end of the sentence before the full stop. However, the second sentence is information prominent, so include the author of the quotation within the parentheses before the page numbers. Note that these same rules apply for paraphrases. For two authors, the name of the first author listed begins with the family name. For the second author, list in order of the first name then the last name. Multiple authors should appear in the order in which they are listed on the text's title page. In the case of three or more authors, most of the same rules apply as for two authors. However, in an in-text citation, provide only the last name of the first author followed by et al and the relevant page numbers. For the works cited list, put the first author's name, then et al and then the rest of the information. Indirect sources occur when you cite an author's summary of another source, not the original source. MLA recommends you use original sources as much as possible. However, if it is your only option, your parenthetical citation will then include the abbreviation QTD in before the author's surname and page number of the indirect source. In this example, Bateman and Jones summarise Brown's ideas. You will only need to provide the source you actually read, Bateman and Jones, in your works cited list. Every work on a works cited list must be referenced in the body of your assignment. This list appears on a separate numbered page at the assignment's end. Place the heading works cited in the centre at the top of the page. Use double spacing throughout. List all entries alphabetically. If an entry is longer than one line, indent all subsequent lines five spaces. If two or more titles by the same author are listed alphabetically, use the name of the author for the first title and three hyphens and a full stop for all subsequent titles. Capitalise each word in the titles of books and journal articles. However, do not capitalise articles such as the or an or prepositions and conjunctions except if they appear as the first word of a title or the first word of a subtitle after a colon. For web entries, DOIs or URLs are needed. This is a works cited list. The title works cited is centred at the top of the page and double spacing is used throughout. Indent all lines other than the first line. To automatically set this up in Word, highlight the text you want to have a hanging indent. Then click the tiny arrow in the bottom corner of the paragraph dialog box in the toolbar and under special select hanging. This presentation provides an overview of the MLA style and examples of in-text citations and works cited. Please note your lecturer and unit outline always take precedence over anything presented here. Thus, please make sure to carefully read your unit outlines for any specific requirements and check with your lecturer.